Majesty directly. Are you so eager to die, Seeker? As you approach, I'm pleased if you ever. If I were you, I'd stay close to Sir Gareth once the fighting begins. Whatever. You've come, Lucian. Gareth, the Shriekers keep watch, and their gaze isn't the only one we should avoid. The murderer is here. Nothing, as long as those Shriekers stand. Get that purging wand and silence them. The butchers in the ruins, beyond the Shriekers. If I didn't know better, I'd think the gods. He reaches for the wood that I. No, go. I see flurries in the air, the rums. Could it be slain? Look, look, it's him. He has come true to his word. Praise be, you have silenced the Shriekers and cleared our way. Yet it seems I'm in need. You have any more miracles in you? We've got a boat ready to row to the lake, so we split. Are you ready? We've got right on our side. A greater. Seekers, we move. You are Lucian's eyes and ears. Majesty's directly. 
You've come. Are you so Lucian Gareth, the Shriekers keep watch. The butchers in the ruin. Nothing, as long as those If I didn't... He reached... Would the... No. Go. I see flies in the air. The rums. Could it be slain? Look. Look, it's him. He has come true to his word. Praise be! You have, you have any more mirror? We've got a... So we... Are you ready? We've got right on our... Seekers! There you are, the SKP. I feared you'd made it to Reaper's Coast by now. Ah, and Ifan Benmez too. Back in Fort Joy, I wasn't quite sure, but it really is him. Anyway, you're here now. You know, Gallus and Friedemann warned me about you. God welcome. I'm afraid your journey ends here. You would only bring ruin to Rivalon. If anyone is going to become the next Divine, it will be me. I have no illusions that history will look kindly upon me. My only goal is to get- I am one of you, after all. Your collar is no tighter than my own. A fair point. I will never write liberty or justice, but this I will defend with my life. And your life. And the life of anyone who stands in the way of the- Please, don't make this harder than it has to be. It's not your fault, but still you stand in the way of peace. This must be the end of your journey, for the salvation of all Rivalon.
yield to none.
well, well, quite the mess you've made here. I'm Malady, and you're... She steps forward, grabs you behind the neck with alarming strength, and pulls you close. She sniffs twice, her nose at your ear. She releases you and grins, running tongue over teeth. God woken. I'm Malady, as I said. I'm here to help you get off this island, and you're what gets some of us out of bed each morning. What do you make of that? Of course. Well, first thing she peers at you closely. Tell me. Which of those little gods did you meet? And what did they teach you? They're free to smite me where I stand if I'm wrong. She cocks her head and smiles. Her eyes go wide. <clears throat> go on then. Show me what he taught you. Ah, like that. She takes you by the shoulders and gestures for you to do the same to her. She closes her eyes and a warm, soothing sensation runs from her hands into your body. Suddenly, you feel the familiar swell of source within you. I don't. Now go on. Perfect. You really are, God. I'm happy. Oh, well, come then. We set sail. Your destiny awaits, etc. You'll have to ask the Meister about that. She's dying to meet you. Melody beckons you to the boat. After you, darling. I'm mad. She steps. She really God woken. And I've heard of you. Of course. She peers. Tell me. Which of those left free? She cocks her head and spat it here. Believe it or not, I... Her eye. <clears throat> Go on, then. Show me what he taught you. Ah. She takes you by the shoulders and gestures for you to... I don't. Now go on. Hey, that stings. She examines... You really... I'm... Come, then. We set sail. Your destiny awaits, etc. You'll have to... Melody... After you, darling.
I'm Melody. She steps. She really. God woken. I'm Melody, as I said. <laughs> well, she peered. Tell me, which of those little. Her eye. <clears throat> Go on. I don't. Uh. She takes you by the shoulders. Perfect. You. I'm. Come then, we set sail. Your death. You'll have to ask them. Melody. After you, darling. Quite right. Do seek my counsel. I highly recommend it.
You must help us wage our... No wonder it doesn't work. Cursed. No wonder it doesn't.
bloody ring. It's loose. Get off me and stay off. His most venerated eminence, Bracchus Rex. of Bracchus Rex, we should tread gingerly. What is this contraption? Before you stands an ancient shrine, runes carved deep into its rock. The runes are in no language you understand or recognize. Your fingertips tingle as you reach out to the shrine. You feel power stir in... Before you stands an ancient sh your fingertips tingle as you the runes before you stands an ancient sh Before you stands an ancient shrine, runes carved deep into its rock. Your fingertips tingle as you reach the runes are in. Before you stands an ancient shrine, the runes are your fingertips. Before you stands an. Before you stands at your fingertips the runes. Before you stands at the runes, your fingertips.
Before you stands an ancient... Your fingertips... The runes... Are... Before you stands at your fingertips tingle the runes. Before you stands at the runes of your fingertips tingle. Before you stands at ain't your fingertip the rune. His most gracious highness, Bracchus Rex. His most esteemed majesty, Bracchus Rex. His most gracious highness, Bracchus Rex. Before you stands at your fingertips tingle, the runes are... Before you stands at your fingertips tingle as you reach out to the shrine. You feel power stir in your chest, but you feel the runes are in no lack... Before you stands an egg, the runes are... Before you stands at your fingertips tingle the runes. Before you stand the runes are your fingertips.
Before you stands an ancient shrine. Before you stands an ancient Your fingertips to the room. His most esteemed majesty, Bracchus Rex. Halt! Who goes there? I am Marina the Brave. You are daring in... I'm an assassin of answer. My title is bestowed upon me by the King of All Rats in honor of my renowned achievements. She waxes on... And thus I brought Morienda to his knees. A doubting Dormouse, I'll...
Before you stands an ancient the room, you feel the source inside you swell up, filling your chest, yearning to be free. Your power flows from your chest and into your the shrub starts to vibrate and glow. Slabs of stone gliding across. find. Go. Boat first, questions left. Malady grabs the vest. God woken. Salty water mists your face. Your skin prickles in bright. Tired but victorious, the party made for the Lady Vengeance. The horrors of Fort Joy behind them. They arrived as sorcerers. They left as God woken. The fate of this godforsaken world now rested on their shoulders. Or at least on the shoulders of one of them. sea breeze kisses your cheek and carries away the smell of blood wafting up from the deck. In the distance, Fort Joy looms. Don't stand between a prince and his principles. The Magisters learned that the hard way. What were they thinking standing against an Eternal? I almost pity them. I've no sympathy for those who die in the line of duty. Especially as odious a duty as those dead Magisters. Onward now. The sooner Fort Joy disappears from the horizon, the better. Perhaps the Seekers need help manning the ship.
the pictograms on the jar stand fixed and still. You see a shape emerge from the... Farewell to flesh. Farewell to bone. Farewell. Pictograms on the jar stand. As you reach into the jar, the source flows into your... You blink. And for a split second, you're looking through the soul's eyes. You see it. The image only lasts a moment. The soul jar stands on its plinth. You see, or rather... Your vision swim. The scene twists. You feel a jolt and open your eyes to see the soul. Something inside you strains. You are replete. The jar stands before you, cold and still. A human spirit slips. My eternal thanks, young one. Oh, timely death. Don't go any further, Godwoken. We need you alive. The ship won't sail. We had orders to search every corner of it and figure out what's blocking us. It's hewn for... She glances over towards a smoldering pile of ash on the deck. That was Brendan. When the ship wouldn't answer my call, he touched the figurehead and it attacked him. Without warning, he burned... Just remember what I said, Godwoken. If you die, then this was all for no nothing. The ship is live wood. That much is clear. But I couldn't communicate with it. The Her eyes flicker. Thank you. Blessings to our fallen. Pray that they may find rest. Further, the ship won't she go. That was Bren. Just from nothing. Her eye. Thank you. Got what we came for. This is what success looks I won't see them tossed overboard. Not here. We'll hold a What's his face and so and so would want us to get this ship sailing before all else. They died for those godwoken. You know their names, Malady. Can't you even pay them that much respect? Gareth inhales sharply, then catches you out of the Our guest stirs. Welcome, Godwoken. Gl ah, very glad indeed. Not a moment longer than we have to. We're at something of an impasse. The ship won't move. She's mute. We need to free her tongue. Quite expedient, isn't it? Dallas seems to have made a ship out of an ancestor tree. Then fa that means only she can control. Go ahead and try. But whatever you do, hurry it up. The longer we sit here... We won't let that happen! Yes, yes, and all that. The Seekers, the survivors of us, have been combing the ship from bow to rudder. It hasn't been... These Seekers have such a limit... We lost a man in the search. Malady might not appreciate that, but I do. I'm sure the Godwoken will be able to get the ship moving. I can't like to... Hopefully. Ah, there you are. High time to stop gallivanting and resume our journey together. Off we go, then. Mm. 
Ah, there's the pure breed now. One too few, uh, Alexander. He's alive. Apparently, he's in the hold below decks. Unconscious. Yes, we certainly had better, but until the ship... This is Dallas. There's a way to move this ship on. You'd be surprised. The figurehead has certainly caused a commotion like... Dying to hear them. Her face crumples it. Why? Because I care, of course. A bit early in our relation. Nice to see her. We'd better not leave her waiting. She's a bit... She's the founder of these seekers. Your kind can reach us a place called you'll probably The silent monk leans from one foot to the other. He seems e. The silent monk leans forward. Sabeel, you made it. Good. I must say, you may... Personally, I am just glad that I do not have to walk back to Reaper's Coast. Wind travel may be primitive, but it is at least efficient. Is there not enough reason to speed up? If you must know, there is an excavation site at the Black Pits on Reaper's Coast. I go to seek the only treasure worth digging. I was investigating a site. Alas, I was not the only... They caught me when I fit. Still, it's good to be on the move again. Well, you see, I the skeleton breaks off mid-sentence as he notices your hand. He physical contact, voice lowered, coil looks. Good heavens, is this a mating ritual? Oh, my pardons. I feel I'm rather... Although, perhaps, you... I need to track given how... So, how about it? I travel with you and aid you in your various chores and tasks, while you help me to remain incognito. actually get a good night's sleep. Melody says it would...
I was just getting used to this seafaring life. You know, we could... Ah. Uh, from the look in your eye, I gather it's time to grab my things and get back to work. Ready. All that fighting will be worth less than nothing if we can't get this done. I must say, you may not be an Eternal. Personally, I am just glad that I do not have to walk back to Reaper's Coast. Wind travel may be primitive, if only. Alas, if you must know, there is an excavation site at the Black Pits on Reaper's Coast. I go to seek answers. The only treasure worth digging for. I was investig- Alas, they caught me. Still, it's good to be on the move again. Ah, yes. I have heard that your people enjoy their pardon. Was that an invitation? Were you trying to initiate some form of mating ritual? Oh, my pardons. I f Although perhaps you would be interested in a companion of a- I need to travel to the Black Pits oil field near Reaper's Coast. But my attempts at stay- Given how well you handled yourself in Fort Joy, I rather think you could be of use- So, how about it? I travel with you and aid you in your various chores. Very well. Let-
mind, damn it. Let's team up, you and me. What do you say? How do, partner? Right now, though, the biggest thing on my mind is some candy arse called Lohar lurking in driftwood. Aye. But he drags a comb through his beard. His face bears the scars of a hearty life, but his whiskers... the pure breed now this is Dallas's there's a way to move this ship on board I'm sure of it you'd be surprised a ship like this holds me the figurehead has certainly caused a commotion lately but then again so have the doors downstairs everywhere you look dying to hear them Meister Siva is one of a rare breed we'd better not leave her a place called you'll probably Be careful around the figurehead, Godwoken. Terse and Elias, pray to you for my seeker brethren. Show us the path to salvation. seems like any door, at least at first. Then you notice it's unblemished wood. There is no knot, no scratch. The wood groans. The face vanishes. The thud of your fist upon... The door remains unmarked. The anguished face appeared. The door remains un... The thud of your fist... to me if you're looking for oh I see you have a full contingent a young woman shifts her weight between her feet as though sway her eyes roll hey it's you well 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 we meet again they told me you'd mosey your way down here eventually. Well, hello there, madam. She wipes a grubby hand on her tunic and holds it up. Very, very, very pleased to meet you. So, Malady tells me you're like me. Uh, you know. Is it true? You're like me? Well, kind of. You know about my, uh... Right, well... I'm a host. Always have been, probably always will be. You name it, I've chatted. I'm only hosting one right now, though, and it's a real piece. Malady said I should have met one of the gods when I had my vision in the Hall of Echoes, but I did. I met it. <laughs> I ought to chain you up like you all did to me. I know. It's. I don't know what this. What's your deal? Ha, 
harder than it ought to be, isn't it? You know, I never was much of a solo artist. Want to find out what comes next, you know, together? Hey, wait a sec. It looks like you have all till then. Can't you say anything else? Bloody magisters. The seeker flexes her arms stiffly. I owe you, Godwoken. <laughs> Without your help, I'd likely... She nods her thanks and immediately winces, laying her hand on the back of her neck. I wish. No, the Magisters kept me chained to the bulkhead. Arms held above me head, feet barely able to touch the deck. Good luck getting anything out of either of them. Our special guest is out cold. And the other one ain't in much of a talking mood. All right then, just... Don't make me regret... Hope you find something useful. A young Magister paces around the brig fussing over Alexander's unconscious form. She leans over and applies a damp cloth. She notices you observing her. She straightens her back and says, Magister Ranley, cork is mate of the divine eminence vessel, Lady Vengeance. That's all the information I'm giving to any of you lot. So stow your questions, elf. Magister Ranley, cork is mate of the... The Magister falls silent, but stares at you with unwavering defiance. There's a shift in the Magister's expression. I'm a good Magister, loyal, but Dallas. Something about her has changed. She's toying with dark magic, like a common sorcerer. She used to, to sing to the ship. She had this old book of hymns and incantations. It was only ever in her hands, or else locked away in her cabin at the stern. That's... You spoke, didn't you? Ha! I knew you would eventually. Magister Ranley, Corker's mate. Too late for that now, Red. The bell can't be unrung. The Magister leans in and with If you ever find yourself faced Get away from him, sorcerer. That's the divine. Prisoner or not. I warned you not to touch him. Didn't you? Ha! I knew you would eventually. Magister Ram, Corker's mate. Whatever that Magister told you, I hope it helps. All right then, just. Hope you find something useful.
Entry allowed. Please use the port side door. Listen up so I don't have to repeat myself again. I am not an entry door. Ugh. Fine. Answer the security. Incorrect. Enter through the port. That won't. There's no entry through the. No entry allowed. Listen up so I don't have to repeat myself again. I am not an entry door. Fine. Answer the security question. The password. Now answer the security. The face in the door is confused. No entry allowed. No entry allowed through the starboard. No entry allowed. No entry. The door remains unmarked. The door remains closed. It seems you need more than a. The door remains unmarked. The anguished face appears. The, the door remains un the thud of your fist. The door remains un the door remains closed. The door remains unmarked. The door remains. Expert warriors for hire. All seasoned in combat. They I've plenty of fighters for hire. Experts in blade. Oh, I see you have a full contingent already. Then I'll leave you. No entry allowed through the starboard stateroom door. another way to get it going but we can't find a way into Dallas's room maybe you can see something we can't there's got to be some clue Dallas would have trusted someone with the secret wouldn't she unless there's someone still inside No entry allowed. Listen up so I don't have to repeat myself again. I am not an en- <sighs> Fine. Answer the security question. Current security measures forbid me from providing the security question. Mm -hmm. 
The password is... The face in the door is confused for a moment. Drat. No entry allowed. The door remains unmarked. The door remains cl There's got to be some clue. Da hey! You, there's got to be another way to get it going. But we... The door remains unmarked. The door remains... The silent monk leans from one foot. The silent monk leans forward slightly and stares at you straight in the eyes. There must be something around here. Shift so her eyes. Hey, it's you. The Magister leans in. If you ever find yourself face to face with Magisters, you tell them I was tortured. I didn't betray the cause, not until I was near death. The Magister leans in and whispers urgently. If you ever find. I warned you not to touch it. Can't be unrung. You spoke, didn't you? Ha! I knew you would eventually. Magister Ranley, Corker's mate. Too late for that now, Red. The bell can't be unrung. Didn't you? Ha! 
I knew you would eventually. Magister Ram, cautious mate. to you for my seeker brethren. Show us the path to salvation. Blessings to our fallen. Pray that they may find rest. Blessings to our fallen. Pray that they may find rest. I remember rest. this one. His name was Kerbin. His friend's sword couldn't save him, it would appear. Void Slayer, Worm Killer, Godwoken, you have many names. Let's add ship's captain to the list once we get this thing moving. Driftwood, of course. Meister Siva's there. She held the Seekers together when we had every reason. Hmm. Think of her as a teacher. I won't let the Fallen be forgot to think that. He's down there now. Amazing to think those of us in the Order once assumed the gods were... Other Godwoken. When Lucian died, we waited. We weren't the only one. We found Godwoken, housed them, fed them. But let's leave the past in the past and reach for what's ahead. She's not, well, not in the strictest sense. She's not exactly an elf either. I don't know how Siva came to know her, but there are times I... Gareth, things keep Lucian close. to be some clue. Dallas would have trusted someone with the secret, wouldn't she? Unless there's someone... Do you hear that? I think there's somebody in there. The door remains unmarked. The thud of your fist upon the wood resonates deeper than you'd expected it to. The door remains unmarked. The anguished face... The door remains... The door remains closed. The door remains, the door stays resolutely closed. No entry allowed.
Whatever that Magister told you, I hope it helps. The Magister leans in, and if you ever find yourself face to face with Magisters, you tell them I was tortured. I didn't betray the cause, not until I was near death. I warned you not to touch you. If Anne grabs you by the sleeve, not hard, but in... Let me work on him. I've got questions that need answers. Answers I can only... If Anne approaches Alexander, who lies flat on a bare wire cot, if Anne grabs him by the jaw and shakes violently, Alexander's face contorts with agony and his eyes flutter, yet he doesn't return to... Why did you trigger the death fog before the elves had a chance to... No matter how loud If Anne shouts his questions, there is no response from the unconscious Alexander. He reaches his arm back, and you realize he intends to punch Alexander in the face. As if waking from a dream, he turns to you, disoriented. Hesitantly, he drops his fist until it hangs... You're right there. With a nod, if an... Bishop Alexander lies supine on a bare wire cot. Though unconscious, his eyes are only... Bruises swell beneath... Someone has wiped the bishop. A beautiful six-sided gem rests on the bishop's chest. The gem sits heavily in your pouch. Bishop Alexander lies supine on a bare wire cot. The bishop's white robes are stained with bruises swell, but someone has wiped... A young woman shifts her eyes. Hey, it's you! No entry allowed. Somebody? There's got to be some clue. The door remains unmarked. The anguished face appears once more. It dips its forehead towards you and waits. A shudder of pleasure racks the figure in the door. It seems to br I am summoned. Speak the yes and yes. You saw what I could not. It seems Malady is quite right about you. I hope you found something or someone useful in... One more moment, please. He clicks together two halves of some type of gauntlet sitting in his lap. 
And, and there. Rescued at last, am I? To whom do I owe my thanks? I'm a prisoner, of course. Do you think I'd be sitting here car- That infernal Dallas woman left me trapped here. Too weak to escape. It seems I'm in your debt. Dallas took a particular interest in me and my skills. I'm an expert in healing, crafting. She kept me here to do her bidding. Until you took her flagship from right under her nose, it seems. Oh, yes. And she could be a most... He extends his arm and pushes up the sleeve. She used some form of domination device on me, forcing my hands to do her bidding. And I've ruined them in the process. Oh, cast spells, tinker with relics. He clicks the gauntlet into place around his wit. That damn contraption that she used on me seems to fog my memory. The rest is, trust me, convenient is the last word I'd use to describe the experience. Pass me that copper wire there, would you? An unseen force yanks the copper out of your grasp. Butterfinger, I'm afraid I truly can't remember anything. Now, unless there's something else you want, I need to get back. I'm doing my utmost to be civil to you, under rather trying circumstances. Why must you push me like this? Well, you're painting me into a corner here, friend. If this one was enslaved by Dallas, then he could still be under her thrall. We can't risk- The Seekers are too trusting by half. We can't just let this healer go free. Let the creature live. He is hardly worth our time. Unperturbed, he holds up his index finger in a one moment, please. Ah, that's better. No, the hard way.
This is written in ancient lizard script. It appears to be a song. Rivalon was flat. something. Now is not the time for a bath. and tight. Seek my counsel. I hide.
For security reasons, please keep the... I hope you found something or someone. You saw what I could not. You'll read now. This is Dallas's ship, but she can't have been. There's a way to move this ship on board, I'm sure of it. You'd be surprised. The figurehead has certainly caused a commotion lately. But then again, so have naughty lizards. Then I suppose that rune on the figurehead was a slave scar. This toad. Well done. Go on then, sing it to the figurehead and get her to sail. Her eyes suddenly flash a bright red. Please spare me. If you want, we need to move. Don't mistake me, Godwoken. The order is coming, and they're coming for you. Sing the song, take control of the ship, or die. God woke it.
The long, sharp needle is blackened with the ink that fuels its purpose, to tattoo the names of those you hunt upon your skin. The pain has faded, and a strange sort of beauty ink fuels the need master. He is that you slowly embed the lone wolf's name into your skin, sentencing him to death. Panda, he knew your name, Ger Diliana, a white naked corpse on the forest floor. You recall Karia, House of War, Sheed Handra, Okuma, Stingtail, House of Dream, the Needle Sting. Time to sing, Godward. to wish for death, but our Mumsy, is she here? Mumsy, where are you? You, she's 
The cat begins to purr and rub. Any friend to Mumsy is a friend to me. I believe the song is around. The song, of course. Trouble not my weary mind with dunsery. The cat purrs and mm, tell me which way shall I fly? For security reasons. You did it. I knew there had to. I hope we found something or someone. May the fallen rest easy in the Hall of Echoes. Gareth Port. Ah, uh, uh, keep Lucian close. Be careful around the. Terse and dead. Before you is a towering figurehead carved in the likeness of a dragon. It looms over the bow. It's f the deck beneath you groans and trembles, like the ship itself is awaking from a slumber. A deep sigh emerges, unmistakably the sound of a living being. You... You are not the witch. You are not Dallas. You sang the song. Now you must decide my fate. Are you to be my new mistress? Ask. I am here to serve in all ways. Thanks to the great calamity of our people, the Magisters, they, they... I see you, sister, but I do not see myself. But that time has passed. The creaking of the ship beneath you ceases, as if it were awaiting your decision with bated breath. You know my plight. I can sense it. But you... My scar is etched upon immortal wood. My servitude cannot end. The ship's awake. Good. Is she ready to sail? Dying to hear them. Mice to see. We'd better not leave her waiting. She's a place called Drift. You'll probably find it quite... Ancestor trees. You did it. I'll be damned to the void. The sea awaits. There is much to it. The ship is awake. We have to make good on our escape. Well, what have we? A slow tooth to driftwood, then. It most set forward. 
With the sun on their backs and the wind in their sails, the god woke and watched Fort Joy shrink behind them. But their capture of the Lady Vengeance had not gone unnoticed. your metal sorcerers. You steal my ship, kill my bishop and ally with demons, but you have no idea what you're really dealing with. We are ready, mistress. Yes, but are they? I swear, mistress. Very well. Goodbye, sorcerers. The love of the void. Listen up. We can't win this one, but I can get us to safety. You'll need to buy me time. Show us what you can do, Godwoken. Godwoken? <laughs> Parasites, rather. I'll take care of it, mistress. Take me again, Dallas. 